Hello everyone. Um, today, in this video, I'm going to talk about using Dynamo to automatically create views and place them on sheets. Uh, I'm also going to show you a quick note that I've made that will apply a template to any of the views. So, all in all, we're creating views, applying templates, and sending them to a sheet. Um, all that automated, uh, so you don't have to spend time doing any of that. So you can see on my screen, uh, this is where I stopped previously in the video, which was tagging uh, elements. Um, so I'm probably going to combine that with what I just talked about, and eventually end up with something that will automatically create views, tag, dimension them, put them on sheets, um, and send to a printer maybe, even. Anyways, um, so let's get let's get to it. Uh, here is my quick Dynamo uh, definition. Um, so what I was trying to do is that I was, uh, first of all, I grabbed all the all the panels for that canopy, and then I used some filtering of the by the mark value to filter out uh, all the panels that only the panels that I wanted so first I filtered for uh, canopy there's three three of those canopies in the project so um, each one of them has a prefix number one two three so I first filtered only for those canopies number three which is the one that we have on the screen once I had that uh, the second number is a type number and then the final uh, suffix is a A or B, which is uh, instance number of that panel. So if it's if this is panel 126, there's an A and B uh, instance to it. So let's get right back to the definition. So this portion filters out all the panels for the for the given canopy, and then this portion filters out panels by individual type so that all in all there's 400 roughly 400 panels in that canopy um, I end up with something like 204 types so there's uh, there's usually just two individual instances for each type um, it's not great but I end up with 200 types that need to be uh, individually tagged dimension and put in views and the reason why we're doing that is because there's going to be an, an you know a unique layout of PV cells for each one of those panels based on its size and whatnot. Um, anyways, so once we have that, that will get sent everywhere else. Um, you can see those two nodes are a little special nodes. I already created all the 200 views, and it takes like 30 minutes maybe. Um, so I, I don't have that kind of time on this in this video. So I I'm splitting it out to grab only. Um, first 22 panels and the reason why I'm saying even though it just says 0 to 20 it's really index 0 and index 20 which will give me a total of 22 panels I think so um, so they're all there and then the view name is ks-view um, I changed the view name so I created all the previous ones as test view so I changed the view name to uh, ks-view um, let's run it see if uh, see if they all get created I might have to I might have to at some point in time uh, during this presentation, during this video, uh, pause it just because it takes a little bit of time. Those are kind of uh, time consuming uh, transactions. Creating views, applying view templates, creating sheets, and applying and placing views on sheets. It, uh, just the nature of those transactions that they take, uh, take a little bit of time, mostly because they regenerate every time they create something new. Um, so I might have to pause it and come back to it later. And this is part of the reason why I grabbed only 20, you know, 21, 22 of them, not all 200. Uh, just because it literally takes 25, 30 minutes to 
create all these views and you know even more time to place them on the sheet so bear with me see if this one uh, takes more than a few minutes then I might have to I might have to pause it and come back to it alright so I'm back you can see on the right that this watch note spit out a bunch of KS views that I created so let's jump back to Revit uh, you can see them right here all these KS views so let's open it, any one of them so they all brand new views they don't have any template assigned to them so you can start you can see a bunch of stuff in the background some of the views probably have some uh, you know random stuff just floating in the background also I prefer them to be you know wireframe views and then there's a couple more settings that I have in the template anyways um, I'm gonna take all these views and group them under KS so they should get moved in the browser down here right below this Well, let's actually move them into test case. Right. And the reason why I move all these views to test case is because I'm going to get back to Dynamo. So here's my views, right? I created all these views. And then I'm using this portion of the definition to grab grab all these views and then I'm filtering them out by a subgroup that they're in so that's why I change it to test KS right so that when I run this part of the definition I should only be getting the view the new views that I created and then I can apply the template to um see if this works transactions usually are tricky tricky beasts you don't want to have any of those hanging loose in, a, in your definition yeah that's not good so I've got an empty list an empty list is because it didn't grab any of the views the question would be is that because I need to refresh this as usual. New subgroup. is supposed to be in the view subgroup, my bad. Alright. Uh, I put it in the wrong place, I was looking at the wrong parameter. So this is view subgroup that I'm looking at, and it's called test ks. Let's run this again, it should pick up all these views. Yep, there you go. So it picked out all these views. This tells me that I need a transaction, which is typical. Let's run the transaction. So when this is done, it should it should uh, put a KS canopy panel types template on all those views so now if you look at that view any one of these views has a template on it so now they all they all wireframe and everything else is hidden so it's just that panel in, in the view so there is that so once we have that once we have that part of it done Usually deleting those. Um, 
the last thing to do is to place them on the sheets. So I have this bit of uh, custom node here, and what I'm going to need to feed it is all these new views that I've created. So they go into uh, input zero, then a sheet name and a sheet number. The sheet number, if I need, you know, I'm only grabbing 20, so, 20 or so views. If I needed more than one sheet, this node has a code in it that will automatically create. So if I feed it, you know, 100 views, it will go through and place the views on the sheet. And when it runs out of room on the sheet, it will, go, it will jump to a new sheet. So it will take the next available number in this series. So the next sheet will be 501 with the same name. And it will start placing the remaining sheets on that view. And then it will keep going until it runs out of views to be placed on the sheet. So this is a view template. This will be a sheet number, sheet name. This will be the views that go on that sheet. So let's see if I have any. So these are the previous, I'll just give you a sneak peek. These are the previous sheets that I generated when I was running the test. So this is what it looks like. It's a, it's a six by five grid. So it's 30 views per sheet. Since I'm grabbing only 20 of them, then I'm gonna end up with just one sheet that's gonna create Let's delete all these because it usually freaks Revit out when you try to create a duplicate sheet. Uh, the definition doesn't yet check for uh, whether the sheet that you're trying to create is already existing. Uh, this should, I'm probably going to build something into it. Um, but for now, let's just delete this to avoid any, uh, any problems with duplicate sheet numbers. Um, Come on. Alright, these are done now. Let's jump back to Dynamo. All these inputs look good. And the typical I'm need I'm gonna need a transaction, the typical error comes up. Let's see if I can run this again inside of a transaction this time. So then again, I'm, I might have to jump out uh, for a second because this might take uh, a couple of minutes. Alright, um, the watch component is spitting out zero, which means that it's finished. Uh, so let's jump back to Revit and under question mark there should be a new sheet. And it's gonna have all the KS views that we fed it to be placed on that sheet. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. And voila. So this can I can probably change that if I needed to, but I uh I set it up so that it starts in the bottom left corner and it and it goes uh goes left to right and moves it up every row until it's a, until it runs out runs out of room in the sheet and then it will jump back to the next one. So yeah, there it is. Automatic creation of views, applying templates to them and putting them on the sheet while it's creating new sheets. Um I think that's pretty cool. Um it's definitely gonna save me a bunch of time. I still got some work to do on that one. Um I definitely wanna uh, tag each one of them with its unique mark and then do some more you know obviously the, the, I have to uh, define more parameters for for sheets where they get slotted so they're not under question marks same for new views that I'm creating so they're not under question marks uh, so they get grouped properly uh, I'm probably gonna change the order uh, start in the top left corner and move down I'm probably gonna try it put some more information in each one of these, maybe tag them with a, uh, with a mark value and maybe uh, put some dimensions on it. We'll see how that goes. So for now, this is just a work in progress. Um, but I think it's pretty cool already. So 
Um, stay tuned. There might be more stuff coming out uh, next week as I keep working on this one. Um, all right. Check out my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my blog at rkey-lab.net. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Um, thank you for checking out my website, for downloading the notes. Remember all the notes that I ever created for Dynamo go up on the website. So check that out if you're looking for any of the stuff that I've been working on and it's not in the package manager. I usually post it in both package manager and here. But here you can at least see examples uh, of what it looks like, what it does. So, alright. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.